Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am coming with a makeup tutorial. Now, I have a few products um, that I've tried out and they're from different companies. And one thing I want to say is I support direct selling companies just because someone that I purchased it from, it helps their family, their pockets, it puts dinner on their table instead of major corporations. So a lot of the items I use in my household and in my makeup are mostly from direct sale. I want to first start with the primer that I use. I love Acti Labs because Acti Labs, they got this silvery purple primer and it's just freaking phenomenal. And it was only 16 bucks, so you can't beat that. And here's the packaging that it comes in. Everything's purple. It's super awesome. I love it. And the consistency is just like a gel, kind of, sort of. You can't really tell it, but I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with that. And I love the fact that it doesn't make me break out because a lot of products, they start oxidizing on my face. And I can't stand that. I used Maybelline the other day in a hurry. And I shouldn't have. I already had my face healed up with some products I was using and look look at that Maybelline did this to my face I'm so 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 upset about it but I'm going to use the concealer from Cinegents it's actually um, a little tester I have here and I usually just kind of conceal my blemishes that way so um, it stays on all day it's waterproof and it doesn't smudge or go anywhere so I don't have to worry about it coming off my face and showing my imperfections it's also great for dark circles too um, that's actually what I'm gonna use it for too because I got a little bit of darkness under my eyes from not getting so much sleep you just put it on all your little spots that stupid Maybelline I will never ever do that again. Matter of fact, I'm going to be sewing that stuff away. I am pretty upset about that. Now I'm going to go in with the sample jar that I have of Pompadou. It's actually Actilabs as well, this company here. And I'll put a link in the description for each product that I'm using because I know when I do makeup tutorials, most people just want to see that. So I'm going to grab a little bit. This I've had still a month and it's lasted so long. Like, you literally only have to put a few dots. I mean, it's super, super cool to, you know, just use a couple of times. You have a whole ton left. I mean, this stuff just goes so far. And so you just put a couple of dots on your face just like that. With this foundation, I tried to blend it with a brush, and it smeared like a waterproof makeup, which is actually, I think, water resistance or waterproof. Water, waterproof. Um, I am not quite sure, but I do know that it's way better with a blending bud, so I wouldn't prefer using a brush. And I love the way it just kind of fills in all the imperfections. It's looking kind of white on, on the camera for some reason, but not here. I don't know, maybe it's the lighting. Okay, now that I've got that all blended in, it looks super flawless. And it's covered up my dark circles and made all my face and neck actually match. So now I'm finally all one color, which I love this about that. Fo I love that about this foundation. I'm going to use this brow wax here. It's by Acti Labs. I love this brow wax because it stays all day. It's also water resistant as well. I don't have any trouble with it coming off. So that's why I love it. It stays right into place. So I'm going to take my angle brush. And I'm going to dip it into, this is the color I have, I think it's called a Teak, T-E-A-K-E-D or something. Teak, T-E-A-K, that's what it's called. And so I just put it in there. And it looks so natural, rather than like they're painted on, you know? And see how that deepens it up and actually starts drawing an eyebrow that I didn't have before. So my camera cut off and there's the eyebrows. Now the next thing I'm going to do 
is use the eyeshadow that I got from Acti Labs and it's purple. Okay, so this is the Acti Labs purple. Oh, it says it's amethyst on the back. I'm not sure if it's going to pick it up because of the lighting. But amethyst is the color. And it's like this super metallic purple. I mean, it's super pretty with like some metallic touches to it. So I am going to put on my lighter color first because this is from Cinegents, the same place that makes the eyeshadow, I mean the lip gloss and lipstick. See, is lavender shimmer. And it's this super metallic purple, so they're going to be perfect together. I'm going to put this as a base, and then I'm going to apply the amethyst from Acti Labs. And the thing I love about these cream eyeshadows is you can easily work with them. They're super blendable. You don't have to worry about them smudging or creasing. If you go swimming, these would be perfect. I'm going to go a little bit above and blend that out. So it looks kind of crazy right now, but you'll see in just a second how this is going to look. And you just easily blend it out. Don't like move the product, just kind of barely pat and touch the product. I like to just kind of pat instead of sweep. And then it takes a second for them to dry, but once they're dry, they're in place. So you need to work with them like as fast as possible. Like that. See how super light and sheer that is? But it's going to give it a great coat. So let me do the other one and I'll be right back. So now I'm going to apply the amethyst shadow. And I'm just going to pack that color on there. I'm not going to do like any swiping at all. Because I don't want that color to move. Okay, so here's amethyst eyeshadow blended. Okay, so here is the eyeliner. It's got a little Paris tower on there. And that's what it looks like in the pot. I've got a flat angle brush, so I'm going to go ahead and try to apply this in the mirror because you have to like be super careful and take your time when doing gel eyeliner. So there's my simple wing look. Now I'm going to do a highlight and contour. This palette is just absolutely amazing. So you can see right here, here's a highlighter. This is another highlighter for your brow. This is actually a shimmer highlighter. And then a matte highlighter. And then a bronzer and a blush. All in one palette with a big huge mirror. So that is freaking awesome. Isn't it so beautiful? It's called the Contour Palette. And it's from Acti Labs as well too. And they make their makeup in France. They make their own makeup. So a lot of the stuff that's found in American makeup, they don't use. So that's a good thing about it. And their facility is eco-sustainable, so it runs off of um, solar-powered panels to lessen their carbon footprint. So that's awesome too, and they're cruelty-free. And a lot of their skin care has really healed a lot of um, acne issues that a lot of other companies tend to cause as well too. Okay, so now we're gonna dip that into the blush right here. And you just put that on the roses of your cheeks. Okay, so I'm going to dip that into the highlight one right here. And I'm going to rub that across the top to give my cheekbone some shine. Which is wonderful because it makes you look a lot younger as well too when you have that shine. And then some on your cupid's bow. See how it just kind of makes it stand out. I got 3D Mascara, the new one that they claim is 400% more. It makes your lashes a whole lot larger. So I am going to see and do an actual review on that as well. And I'm going to do a review on, um, so there's the 3D Mascara. And then I'm going to be doing a review on the um, Lip Sense Praline Rose Diamond. So this is a neutral color. I love praline rose, so this one's going to be super awesome because it's got real diamond dust in it. So I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the makeup tutorial. This is Acti Labs makeup. It's super blendable. It's easy easy to kind of play with, you know, and do what you like to, to with it. It's just kind of really super simple to use. 
and it's been good for my face as well too. No breakouts, no issues, no creasing. Um, a lot of it seems like it's waterproof, especially the Cinegents shadows. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. All the links below, you can contact me, join my Facebook group where we share all our little selfies and makeup tips and things to help each other out for us ladies that are obsessed with makeup. Um, also, don't forget to uh, like my page as well too. There's a lot of deals that I post there and my shop is there too for all the products that I currently sell and run specials on. So don't forget to do that. All links will be below in the description. You guys have an amazing day and thank you for watching.